one of the core principles of science based lifting is the progressive overload. And the thing is, almost all the people working with it aren't understanding the concept properly because it isn't just showing more weight on the machine or on the dumbbells or barbells. It's more of understanding your fatigue and a proper management of it. Everybody doesn't really care if you're just having more weight on the bar every week. It doesn't care about your ego, but more about the stimulus and recovery you're working with. So the true progressive overload happens on an intersection of three. The mechanical tension with the weight and what you, you put in it, the metabolic stress with the rep range and the time under tension and the neurological fatigue. So your central nervous system demand and the signal output. If you don't follow this principle, if you just max out and then ignore the rest, your body would adapt slowly for a while, but then it would probably stall. So this all kind of overload with the precision fatigue management leads to your CNS burnout and it's really horrible. There's a 2018 meta-analysis in sports medicine that reports that both training volume and proximity to failure can positively impact your hypertrophy, but only within the reasonable recovery measurements. So you have to understand your body abilities and just not overwork. If you're not sleeping or eating properly or just not sure how your recovery works, I would strongly recommend just leaving at least one or two reps in reserve on each exercise.